Daytona Beach is home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Collector Car, and Classic Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealer. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please check out our website, hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos we never take down between both of our locations here in Florida and in PA. We have thousands of subscribers that enjoy watching our content, so we leave it up so you can see what kind of quality and quantity of vehicle we roll through our showroom month after month and year after year. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off the website letting you know that particular unit is no longer available. Check out our Facebook and Instagram as well. There'll be vehicles such as this one on there prior to us doing our full presentation on them. You know, a lot of our cars sell before they ever hit our website. We have thousands of uh, people visit our showroom here in Daytona uh, throughout the year. And, uh, you know, you, all of our cars are sitting on the floor. And, um, you know, some of them are waiting to go through photos and videos. And uh, they sell before they even make the website. So if you check out Instagram or Facebook, you might be able to get a jump on another prospective buyer. Also, there is a link there to our gift shop here in Daytona where you can buy uh, hats, t-shirts, apparel, all kinds of cool garage signs, banners, flags. So check that out as well. I'm gonna present a car to you right now that I know will not last in our showroom very long. 1967 Pontiac GTO, and this one's the right one. We'll show you why. Um, power brakes, power steering, AC, 400 motor, it is, you know, on a 67 block, there is no partial VIN. Uh, however, it is uh, what we were told, the numbers matching motor. We did check the date code. We did check the casting number. It is a 400 motor. It is a period correct motor. So uh, we bought it as the original motor in the vehicle. Numbers matching car. There is a cowl tag up uh, there that we'll have a picture of, photo of on our website. This car does have PHS documentation that I will show you here uh, later on in the video presentation. And also we will have a still photo of it on our website. So let's check out this 67 GOAT. Uh, first of all, the uh, front portion of the car, uh, the grill, the chrome, the bumper, uh, everything looks to be in really nice shape. I believe the restoration on this car was done in 2017. I also have a slew of parts receipts uh, in the trunk that I will show you and will come with the car. Uh, paint on the top of the fenders and on the hood is fantastic. A uh, real nice quality paint job on the car. Moving to the driver's side front fender, uh, again, the red paint on it, uh, no bubbles, uh, no cracks. No areas of uh, fade in the clear, no fish eyes, uh, anything like that. Your chrome on your wheel opening molding is in fantastic condition. Uh, your beauty rings are, are nice and uh, silver, uh, have a nice luster to them. Uh, your Pontiac Motor Division wheels, uh, all the paint on those are in fantastic condition. Uh, BFG raised white letter radials, good looking, good looking uh, car. Dual chrome mirrors on both the driver door and the passenger door. The window glass on the front windshield is in great condition. Same thing with your chrome uh, molding around the front windshield. Look at the body lines. Uh, first of all, stepping uh, back from the vehicle, uh, looking at the door fitment, you want to see that from the very top all the way down to the rocker, the uh, gap is uniform. Same thing on the uh, rear portion that goes to that huge GTO rear quarter. Your rocker guards down there. Uh, so you have the GTO badging on the uh, rocker guard. And then uh, I don't see any uh, dents, you know, th those being aluminum and being so close to the road, they have a tendency to take road debris and get dented up and dinged up. Uh, those ones look to be in uh, really, re really good shape. Your drip rail molding is crimped properly and the chrome is not uh, rusted or pitted or anything like that. Vinyl top, black. Uh, the top is great. Uh, so where you have a tendency to have an issue on these things is when you know water runs down a drip rail and settles here at the bottom, and usually like will create uh, rust bubbles or rust underneath the vinyl top if there's any kind of uh, puncture in that. And this one has nothing. I mean, it's all uh, 
nice and uniform, uh, nice and smooth, no rust underneath there. Uh, door panel, the uh, GTO badging there in the center of the door, metal up top here is in pretty good condition. Again, it's not pitted or rusted, anything like that. Uh, door panel's in good shape. Look at how straight the bottom of that door panel is. Uh, it's not uh, all bowed out or wavy or, or warped, so that's, that's a great thing. Black vinyl automatic car, bucket seat center console. Uh, the vinyl on the uh, driver's side seat's in fantastic condition. Take a look in the back seat, same deal. Really nice shape. Headliner looks to be newer. Carpeting underneath the floor mats, in real nice shape. Uh, the center console appears to be in pretty good condition. We'll take a closer look at that when we're on a test drive. Got the uh, wood steering wheel here. That looks to be in good shape. I don't see any, uh, oh, there's a crack in the dash right there. Okay, a little crack in the dash right there, but the rest of the dash looks pretty good. Again, we'll take a closer look at that when we're on the test drive. Uh, the carpeting underneath the uh, driver's side floor mat, in good shape. Body lines on the car are real, real nice. Look at how straight that rear quarter is. Uh, driver door, uh, driver front fender, everything's uh, real nice on the vehicle. Clarity on the rear windows, fantastic. Your uh, chrome molding around the uh, rear windows, also in good shape. It's not, uh, again, rusted, pitted, anything like that. Huge deck lid to match these uh, rear quarters. Uh, everything lines up nice and flush. Uh, it sticks out here. You know, it's flush with the uh, rear quarter on both the driver and passenger side. GTO badging on the deck lid. Reverse lights down low there in the uh, rear bumper. The chrome on the rear bumper is fantastic. The uh, chrome tips there sticking out of the uh, rear bumper. Awesome. Take a look in the trunk. So uh, trunk mat, no jack, no spare. I didn't take it out of here, we didn't get it, and uh, you don't get one with the car. Uh, the trunk is fantastic underneath the condition of the, uh, the trunk itself. Uh, so let's start with the important stuff. Your PHS docs that I told you uh, there will be a copy of on the uh, website. Okay, um, power steering, power brakes, uh, glass windows, AC, it was the original AC car. Uh, seat belts, I think the car started life if i recall correctly i think it started life ivory so there was a color change uh there's your tranny uh no it's regimental red i'm sorry it had an ivory top on it, it has a black top on it now but it was a red car uh it had an ivory top and it did have believe it or not a uh, black interior so everything's correct about the car except the color of the hat and again numbers matching motor so, a lot of times when we sell cars, we get asked, do you have any documentation? So there's your PHS docs, okay? Here's all your receipts. I mean, there's receipts for every probably the last part that's been hung on the car. Uh, the majority, okay, so look, date in, somebody marked this folder two of 2015, okay? So maybe that's when they started the restoration. Uh, but the majority of the receipts in here are from 2016 and 2017. So it's 2022, do the math. Uh, nothing in here. This was just the uh, folder that that was in all that stuff. So you'll get all that with the car. Also, um, we're going to put in a little slide presentation. Uh, so we have pictures of the restoration uh, on the rotisserie, the frame. I mean, here is a look at the entire restoration of this car. I mean, the photographs, you will get these photographs with the vehicle when you purchase it. Uh, so again, you know, when was the car restored? Do you have documentation? Well, here it all is. You got pictures of the frame, pictures of the body, pictures of the restoration. And like I said, all these photos will come with the car uh, when you purchase the vehicle. Passenger side, same as the driver. Not only is the paint quality fantastic, uh, chrome quality is fantastic, body lines are good. Look, 
the rear quarter, hopefully you can see that in the video presentation, it's laser straight. I mean, and those photos that I just showed you prove that this restoration was done. I mean, think about what this restoration would cost you today. You know, I mean, I, I know we're only talking, you know, five years ago, however, everything's gone up, right? Chrome on the uh, passenger side, the same uh, as the driver, you know, your drip rail moldings, all your chrome here around the uh, windows, all in good shape, chrome on your uh, door handles. Let's take a look in the passenger side. Again, door panels, fantastic. These door panels are not cheap, and those are brand new door panels. Nobody uh, skimped out on, on uh, restoration, that's for sure. Uh, how about the uh, vinyl on the uh, passenger side seat? Real nice. Again, your carpeting's in great shape. Uh, dash on this side looks good. Again, I can show you guys uh, better interior shots when we are in the car outside. The sunlight's beating through the uh, window and there's a little more light. Again, your uh, body lines on your doors, uh, front to the front fender, to the rear quarter. Uh, I don't see any, let me look here. Okay, so this rocker molding is dented right here. Okay, see there's a dent in the uh, rocker molding there. But, uh, you know, it's low to the ground. Again, it's not a, it's kind of a stupid design right out of the gate because you take road debris up there and it just, it puts dents in those things. These things online are about 300 bucks for the pair. Um, you know, if you buy them and put them on, you're just, same thing's gonna happen. It's, and I, I've sold hundreds of GTOs over the years and uh, it's just, it's just what happens. There's really no avoiding it. Uh, so body lines, again, check out the uh, front fender, uh, passenger door, rear quarter, things laser straight down the side, really is, really great lines. I didn't see anything, you know, the paint's not a 10, uh, but it's probably an eight and a half to a nine. I hate the paint question because everybody's opinion on paint is kind of, uh, you know, differs, varies, I guess. Uh, you know, there's a concourse quality paint job and then there's, you know, this is a very nice, very expensive paint job on this car. Uh, again, there's no debris in the paint. There's no areas that weren't prepped properly where the paint might have bubbled. Uh, there's no uh, scratches that I see. Um, you know, the, the paint's uniform. There's no uh, areas of uh, fade in the clear. There's no fish eyes. It's a really nice uh, paint job on the car. We're gonna be asking good money for this vehicle and I doubt it'll be around very long. So I do encourage you guys, when you're spending this type of money on a collector car or classic car, to visit our Daytona Beach showroom in person to look at what you're buying. Um, I just did a quick walk around presentation. I showed you as much as I possibly could in the time frame that we're trying to keep these videos at, which is like 20 to 25 minutes. This video might go a little longer because I did have some PHS docs to show you, some restoration photos to show you. Um, and it's a nice car, so, you know, on nicer cars, you, you spend a little bit more time uh, talking about it because they're going to, you know, command a little bit more money and you want to show how nice this vehicle actually is. But if you visit us in person, which I encourage you to do, uh, we'll let you take this car outside. You can look at the uh, paint and the sunshine for yourself. You can pop the hood, pop the trunk, play with the doors, roll the windows up and down. We'll put it on the rack for you, stick it in the air. We'll let you look at the undercarriage. We'll let you drive it. You see how the motor performs, training shifts, uh, how the steering handles. Uh, we do it every day, uh, especially this week. It's bike week here in Daytona, and uh, our showroom is inundated with people, and, and we show all of our cars and let people, uh, you know, look at them and purchase them. However, I shoot at least four to five of these videos every single week, and uh, I say the same things, you know, come in person, take a look, let you drive it the whole nine yards and uh, continuously I do eight to nine out of every 10 deals sight unseen. If I sell 30 cars this month, I might meet, you know, three, four buyers face to face and the rest is done. Uh, photos, text message, phone calls, video, uh, wire transfer, all that stuff. We've been doing uh, at home shopping on classic cars for over 20 years and we've been very successful at it. So. Hopefully our longevity in this business tells you something about the kind of product we turn out. Let's take this 67 GTO around back. We'll throw it in the air. We'll check out what the undercarriage looks like and then we'll do everybody's favorite part, which is drive it. Underneath our 67 Pontiac GTO. Uh, by the way, I take 
uh, my previous statement back. I talked to my buyer on this car. It is not a numbers matching car. It is a period correct block. It is not the original motor though. So it is not numbers matching. It is steering, brakes, and AC, but not numbers match. So I apologize, my mistake. I look at, buy, and sell a lot of cars, so I get confused. Um, front disc brakes. Huge oil pan. Um, you can't really see, we'll check out the front here because you can see the front. See how nice that paint is on that pan and on the side of the block. Nothing's leaking out of the front seal there. See how nice the paint is on the bottom of the pan there. Uh, of course, you got your cross member, your starter, and your pipes in the way to really see the rest of it. I'm standing inches away from it and I can barely see, um, so I'm sure you guys can't. Uh, however, I don't see anything leaking at this time uh, from the oil pan or valve covers, what I can see. Um, training pan, nice and dry also. Uh, your pipes, somebody did, somebody knows how to weld. Uh, great welds on these uh, exhaust pipes here. Going back all the way throughout the, uh, through the vehicle, we'll look at it throughout the entire presentation. Cross member holding the tranny up is in good shape. Uh, nothing's coming out of my speedo cable over here on the side. You know, when, when you get tranny drips out of the speedo cable, there's about a, I don't know, 10 cent seal in there that just has to be replaced. Uh, your tail shaft seal looks nice there. Uh, that's good. Um, floor pans on the car are fantastic. Uh, throughout, again, take a look at the uh, photographs um, that we were uh, given with the restoration. Uh, they're in fantastic condition. Both your mufflers are in good shape here. Uh, I don't see any pinholes, rust holes, rot holes. And again, somebody was good with a welder. The beads are real nice on the exhaust system. Uh, somebody did a real professional job with that. Um, drum brakes in the rear. Your springs look good in the rear. The uh, area where the uh, rear end pumpkin is going to sit when the car is on the ground up there, uh, where the trunk meets the, the back seat, it's in good shape. Looks like new shocks here in the rear. Huge gas tank to fuel this beast. That looks newer. Uh, the frame rails on the car are fantastic. Again, you saw the photos of the actual frame of the vehicle. Um, it was all nice and solid. Uh, the tires on the car are in good shape. Uh, not even close to the wear bars. There's no uh, cracking in between the tires where they would be dry rotted. Uh, plenty of tread left on those BFGs. Uh, the chrome tips you see coming out of the uh, rear of the car there. Again, real nice weld there. Uh, somebody good with a welder. Um, rear bumper, I told you in the showroom, it's in good shape there. You can see um, the chrome's all nice. It looks like a, a newer bumper, probably put on during the restoration process. Beautiful car. Drop it on the ground, we'll take it out for a uh, test drive and we'll show you guys how it runs out. But before we do that, uh, I want to tell you guys that uh, payment options. So if you're a cash buyer, we accept certified bank check and uh, we'll do bank wire transfer as well. That's the most common form of payment. Most of our business, as I told you earlier, is done sight unseen. So a lot of bank wires come through our account on a daily basis and on a weekly basis. If you're coming in person and you want to bring us cash, maybe you're old school that kind of keeps it in a, in, a, in a box in the bedroom or under your mattress or in the hole in the backyard, that's fine. Green still spends, no problem with that. If you are financing this car, the collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 10-year loan on the vehicle. They're going to require you put a minimum of 10% down, and then the remaining balance is going to be over that 5 to 10-year period, whatever your approval is for. Approvals, obviously, the same thing uh, you know, a normal underwriter looks for when you're doing any kind of car loan, home loan, boat loan, anything like that. Uh, credit score, first and foremost, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, you know, all, all, all that stuff. Financing, typically if you're fast with your paperwork, we can be uh, funded within 48 hours. So uh, once the car is funded, whether you are a cash buyer or financing, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. That process is recorded and you do get a copy of it on the keychain on a USB thumb drive, a little keepsake for you, along with all the photos we took in the showroom and this video presentation you are watching right now. Once the car is paid in full, 
uh, and it, it's through inspection, and uh, the guys say it's ready to go, we call a carrier for shipment. If you are not in some rural area where you're the only house you can see for a, a two mile radius, um, we generally don't have a problem getting a truck here. It's for 24 to 48 hours, we can generally have a truck uh, at our facility to pick the car up and to take it to you. If you are in one of those rural areas, that's okay. We get trucks going everywhere in the United States. Uh, however, it may take an extra day or two or three, depending on where you're located. Once the car is picked up, uh, delivery time to you is obviously depending upon how many other vehicles are on board, weather conditions, traffic conditions, so on and so forth. But we'll keep you posted if we're the ones doing the shipping for you. Let's set this 67 GTO down on the ground. It is a beautiful day here in Central Florida. We will take it out on a test drive and show you guys how it runs out. Okay, inside our 67 GTO, we do have a couple uh, things to show you here. Uh, first of all, fuel gauge does work. Uh, 486 is what the odometer is reading. Uh, that could very well be the mileage since the restoration. I don't know. I don't have any way to prove that. Like I said, the restoration was done 2016, 2017. So um, that's when the motor and the training and everything were rebuilt. And the 486 is what the odometer reads. So, uh, TAC does function. Oil pressure is functioning. Temp is functioning. It's coming up. Uh, we do not have a horn. We know that. We're taking care of that. Also, the AC, it does not work. It's not hooked up. We are hooking it up. So if you buy this car, if it sells immediately like I think it's going to, I'm going to need two or three days to address the AC. I need to do some work on the AC. We are going to get it working. It is going to be sold with a functioning AC unit in the car. Uh, the turn signals, driver's side, passenger side, they both blink when you turn it on. So uh, we're going to take care of that too when you see. They both blink either way. So I'm going to address that issue as well. Uh, so we got the turn signals, the horn, and the uh, AC to contend with. We've already got the parts ordered. They're already in the shop. As soon as I'm done with this video presentation, it's going over to the shop to uh, get started on because I know the car is going to sell quickly. So uh, wipers. The wipers do work. The uh, rear seats on the car, I told you, are in fantastic condition. The headliner looks to be uh, brand new. Center console is in pretty good shape here, like your wood grain and your uh, chrome. Let's take it out. Uh, it's a beautiful day in Daytona here. Let's take it out and drive it and see how it runs out. Inside our GTO, nice tight steering. Let go of the wheel and the car tracks nice and straight. There's no vibrations whatsoever in the uh, front tires and the drivetrain and the seat steering wheel. Look at that, laser straight. Temp gauge is about 180, so that's a good thing. Let's see how the brakes work here. Nice. Stops nice and straight, stops just like it should. I mentioned earlier in our presentation that it is bike week here in Daytona. There's a lot of bikes out, there's a lot of law enforcement out, so I'm not going to get on it too hard. I'm not going to get it. I'll get it probably 60 miles an hour, but the car runs fantastic. I just don't feel like getting a ticket. I don't feel like hitting any bikers. We're gonna coast through this light here. Tranny shifts perfect. Nice and smooth. about 60. It's a nice car. Nice smooth ride. It's 1967, the best year. It's got the look, the color, bucket seats, center console, AC that's going to work. Nice smooth ride. Tranny shifts nice and smooth. Nice 
1967, man. This thing's, these are, every single one we've had through our showroom. Some sold when we put the YouTube video up that we didn't even get a chance to post the pictures on the website. Uh, you know, 70 Chevelles, 67 GTOs, 69 Camaros. They're just so extremely hot right now. It's, we're fortunate to be able to uh, get one of this quality to sell you guys. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this particular vehicle along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. By the way, nice smooth idle. Not spitting sputter and wanting to stall out. At full retail price, this 67 GTO includes shipping in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASE certified facility in the United States. It covers engine, transmission, rear end. You don't have to bring it back to Florida. You don't have to bring it back to Hangster's Hot Rods. You don't have to take it to a special restoration center or muscle car dealership. You probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver. If the oil pan gasket starts leaking, that's going to be on you. If the starter stops, that's going to be on you. If you know it needs new battery, that's on you. It's major mechanical breakdowns of the drivetrain. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the vehicle, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, if we negotiate the uh, price of the car, the uh, shipping comes off as well. Our full retail price program is kind of a turnkey type uh, deal. We pay the driver, we set up the shipping, we give you the warranty, at a negotiated price, you will just pay the driver when the uh, vehicle shows up wherever you might be in the United States. We can help you arrange the shipping, you'll just pay the driver. By the way, they take cash and check. They do not accept credit card. Also, if you are a collector, maybe you have a shipping company you've used in the past that you've had a good experience with, that's okay as well. We don't make any money off the shipping or mark up the shipping. We simply provide it as a convenience to our buyers. Also, if you are a collector, maybe you have your own trailer and you wanna to come to uh, sunny Daytona Beach and trailer the car home yourself, you can certainly do that. And of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, Central Florida, you are more than welcome to uh, come drive the car home yourself. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Told you it's bike week. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida, and our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.